have access to quality, affordable health care as we continue to fight this pandemic. Open enrollment for the Affordable Care Act ends Tuesday, December 15th. For most Wisconsinites, this is the deadline to sign up to get health care coverage for 2021. So don't wait. Head to healthcare.gov today to find a plan that works for you and your family. If this is your first time signing up or if you have questions, free expert advice is available by calling 211 or by visiting wiscovered.com. Having quality, affordable health care coverage is perhaps more important now than ever, so be sure and get covered. As Wisconsin continues to be a national hotspot for COVID-19 cases, our hospitals and healthcare workforce are being stretched to the limits. All across the state, we've heard stories of those in healthcare doing exceptional work under difficult circumstances. Working back-to-back -back shifts and head-to-toe PPE, going without seeing their families or loved ones so that they can keep working and stay healthy, and FaceTiming family and friends of patients so that they can have the precious moments of connection while isolated. And we've heard far too many tragic stories of nurses holding their patients' hands as they fought for their life, sometimes losing the battle to the virus without their loved ones there next to them. The weight on their shoulders is immense, and they are doing a remarkable job. But we have to remember that our healthcare heroes are not invincible. Every day, they're putting their health and safety on the line to take care of our most vulnerable patients, sometimes having to quarantine at, ho quarantine at home because they have symptoms themselves or were exposed. In a state where we are already str struggling to find health care workers before the pandemic, many hospitals and clinics are stretched thin. Yesterday, we announced approximately 45 U.S. Army medical personnel from the U.S. Department of Defense, will be heading here to support Wisconsin folks at Marshfield Medical Center facilities in Marshfield, Eau Claire, Beaver Dam, and Rice Lake. The Marshfield Clinic System has been utilizing volunteers from the Wisconsin Emergency Assistance Volunteer Registry, but the need for more staff to meet patient demand remains a challenge, and this additional support will be crucial in helping meet patient needs. We're appreciative of this federal partnership at a time when our, when our state is, and communities are, can really, really use it. It's also critically important that every Wisconsinite do their part to stop the spread of this virus by staying home and wearing masks whenever you have to go out. Your actions will not only help save lives, but will help protect our healthcare workforce by flattening the curve and reducing their risk for being exposed to the virus. With that, I will now hand things over to Secretary-Designee Andrea Palm for her update. Andrea, it's all yours. Thanks, Governor. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I do want to start today with an update on our case numbers. So here's where we stand. Today we're reporting an additional 57,000 Wisconsinites have died from COVID-19, which brings our total deaths here in the state to 3,944 and reminds us, as it does every day, that we must do everything we can to prevent this virus from spreading further and causing more families to lose loved ones. We're adding 4,034 new cases today, which brings our total of confirmed cases here in Wisconsin to 426,099. Our seven-day average of daily confirmed cases is 3,770, and that is lower than it was a month ago. But our testing numbers are also down, and that is concerning. It's my hope that we're seeing fewer positive cases because fewer people are getting infected with COVID-19. But with our positivity rate as high as it is, we know we are not testing enough people to get an accurate picture of the virus here in Wisconsin. So if you've been exposed to COVID-19, get tested. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, get tested. And please quarantine while you wait for your results. If you test positive, be sure to notify your contacts and limit your contact with other people in your household to try to prevent transmitting the virus further. If you test negative, 
please keep staying home and monitor your symptoms. If you have a strong network of, excuse me, we have a strong network of labs here in Wisconsin, and the capacity to process tests is almost 60,000 per day. Our lab capacity is only helpful if we use it, so please get a test if you need a test. Call your healthcare provider or visit one of our community testing sites. Testing is a key tool to box in the virus because it informs our decisions. If you know that you're infected and you do not interact with other people, you help prevent transmission and that stops the spread. This month, we will likely add another tool to our toolbox to help stop the spread with the approval and then arrival of the COVID-19 vaccine here in Wisconsin. It's important to remember though, that we all must continue to wear a mask, physically distance, wash our hands, and stay home as much as possible. Please don't go to a friend's house or invite a few people over for dinner. Even a small gathering can and does spread COVID-19. Until enough Wisconsinites have been vaccinated, these remain the best tools we have to stop the spread. And finally, before we take your questions today, I wanna to highlight that yesterday we launched our wastewater surveillance dashboard, another tool in our statewide effort to understand the prevalence of the COVID-19 virus. Wastewater surveillance has been shown to detect increases in COVID-19 activity uh, up to a week before testing. This project is a collaboration between DHS, the Wisconsin State Lab of Hygiene, and the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, and this dashboard is part of our continued commitment to data transparency. 